Throughout its history, Dan has promoted diver health and safety and actively campaigned with industry stakeholders and engaging communities around the world to advance safe diving practices. We'd like to call this creating a culture of diving safety. What do we mean by that? Let's find out together. Welcome to another one of our Get to Know Dan series. My name is Dr. Franz Cronier and I'm the founder of Dan Southern Africa. To learn more about Divers Alert Network, subscribe to our channel, Dan Southern Africa YouTube channel, or visit the Dan blog to get the latest news so that you don't miss anything. So let's find out how Dan cultivates a culture of diving safety and what it is. Well, Dan is taking steps in working with diving professionals, resorts, operators, instructors and sometimes individual divers to actually become more and more aware of the potential hazards and the potential risks involved in diving, but with a view of making it not only safer, but more sustainable and building customer confidence through new and utilizing existing programs, services and resources, Dan has developed a modern multifaceted approach at preventing and responding to diving emergencies. It's been more than 20 years that Dan Southern Africa has been there for you and its services are available to not only the injured divers but also professionals needing to treat them. Not all professionals in the healthcare industry are familiar with diving injuries, so we can liaise with them and offer education to physicians, emergency hotline operators, emergency medical service providers and the like. In fact, we have built a network of doctors who are able to evaluate divers and assist when the time comes to get a diver to a medical assessment and possibly to recompression and we have people on call 24 hours a day every day of the year ready to coordinate care and to facilitate evacuations. So what do you do to get this system to work for you? Well the first thing to do is to call. That sounds simple but we sometimes have situations where divers go on for several hours trying to make their own way to facilities that may not be available. The bottom line is we want you to call us. That might be a caller from the diver who's injured or their buddy, a traveler, a friend or a physician even. Regardless who calls, we have medics available on hand and we have physicians on call that can respond. This brings me to the second item, to respond, to have an immediate course of action, including first aid if needed, emergency medical services to be activated, and the instructions of what they are to do. Then there's the plan. And the plan is not something that Dan can do on its own. In fact, it's most important that the dive resort or the dive operation has a functional plan in place. A protocol that not only includes who to contact but also how to work together with a hotline to get the person to the appropriate medical care. Fourthly, there is the evacuation aspect. Not all injuries need to be evacuated. It's only sometimes required but if it is it often involves a number of people, a number of organizations, a lot of equipment and of course aeroplanes, ambulances and vehicles to get people to the care they need. And then there's the follow-up and this is where we contact the caller and the patient continually to provide updates, get information, make sure they're on their way and uh, provide support as needed. 
The sixth point is to monitor. So we maintain contact with the Dan team, with the people taking care of the diver, and that gets us to the seventh point, to conclude the time when the injured diver can be discharged. Even then, Dan is there to make sure that you're doing well and that everything is back to where it should be. So it's smart to invest in the future. For more than 20 years, Dan has reinvested and brought its proceeds back into building a community and culture of safety. From the moment Dan opened its doors, which is now three decades ago for some of the Dans and more than two decades for Dan Southern Africa, we have been there to make this great sport even safer and to encourage divers to remain safe and to care for each other. Your membership fees are at work. Dan does have a reputation that it has built that people trust and we want it to stay that way. Our reputation has been forged through the operation of many, many injuries uh, that we've treated and dive calls that we've answered and advice that we've given 24-7. The diving community has depended on Dan and wherever we have been able to assist, we have. Just read some of the reports on the blogs and in the various magazines that are published that will give you an impression of how Dan has assisted nurses, doctors, paramedics and all those involved in taking care of divers. But not only in the case of an injury, also in the case of preparing to deal with possible injuries. Follow the links below for more information, particularly on the training and education, which is essential for the dive center and dive operation because its professionals are the first responders and they have the best chance to improve the outcome of the injured diver. Now Dan doesn't just wait and see what happens. Dan proactively does research and tirelessly finds ways to make diving even safer. Look at the link below and find out how you might even be able to provide your dives and your experience to add to the whole plethora of experiences that we have in the database of injured diver cases and also good outcome cases uh, that give us the indication of what is going on and what divers are doing so that we can adapt what we need to provide in terms of support and assistance. The bottom line is that Dan is there when you need us with the necessary information, personnel and support in the form of cover. Look at the links below to see more. Don't forget our Alert Diver magazine which is indispensable and is a must read. It's celebrated throughout the world and contains buckets full of information on destinations as well as showcasing some of the best underwater photography in the world. Again, the links below. Then there's the annual Diving Injury and Accident and Fatality Report. This report, although it does sound a bit grim, is a way to see what is actually happening. In other words, how we can learn from the experience of others. And this allows you to then make adjustments to your own dive planning and to make sure that you do not fall prey to the same problems that affected those divers. Again, we refer you to the links below. There are many tools that we offer in response to training and we invite you to take these courses and to acquire the necessary equipment. We have CPR and life support training which covers the whole range from basic CPR to automated external defibrillators and hazardous marine life injury treatment. Look at the links below. It helps and adds so much confidence if you just know what you're doing. 
And don't forget oxygen administration. There is so much good to be done by giving oxygen in the early stages of an injury. Lastly, the DCI and stroke response training. Neurological assessment determines whether or not there is a possibility of a neurological injury which may or may not be the result of a bubble. In some cases it may be the result of a stroke. Again, follow the link below to find out more. Dive management training also offers you the opportunity to get to know our DAN programs and enlist. I do want to mention though that there are training programs for health professionals and that allows them to remain involved and we invite you to do so. So please make use of our health and diving reference library uh, also in the links below that gives you valuable insights on critical topics and they are the smart guides to safe diving that we make available to you. We have infographics that show you what's going on in diving and with all of that being said we really hope that that has convinced you that if you are not a Dan member already that you will join today. Dan is respected worldwide through the services it has provided for decades. If you do not know about it yet please download the Dan mobile app. It's available on Android and iPhone and is a great way to remain connected. It's basically Dan at your fingertips and it has information but it also allows you to text and chat and real-time communicate the clarity of written words rather than maybe a poor connection through a telephone line with the Dan medics and the doctors on call. So please follow the links and download it so that you make sure that you have it. I've mentioned the Dan Southern Africa YouTube channel. Subscribe. Look at the Dan blog so that you don't miss anything. So to learn more about what we've spoken about, please yet again follow the links below and in the next video I'll be talking about Dan's emergency response and how it helps divers. Thank you for your support.